Hi everybody, um, I'm doing my weekly uh, video journal on my Manjaro journey. Um, it's today is April 28th, uh, 2024, and I am currently down 24 pounds. 24 pounds! Awesome, right? So I believe that's two pounds down from last week. <laughs> two pounds down. Oh, get myself. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Um, I learned some things this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. I learned some things this week. Um, man, <clears throat> about finding the right community uh, for support. There's lots of um, groups on Facebook, people on YouTube, um, TikTok, all over the place, who either are for GPL ones or against GPL ones. Um, so you have to really consider the sources, where that source is getting their information. And if they're medically, educationally able to give that sort of information to you. Um, are they a registered dietitian? Are they a doctor? You think about these kind of things, about who are you listening to? Are you listening to your own doctor who knows your medical history, who knows you as a person? I was referred to a weight loss clinic by my primary care physician which I love. I love my PCP. <clears throat> and I'm getting to know my ARMP at the weight loss clinic. I go back and see her on May 7th. My voice is wanting to be real squeaky for some reason. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't normally sound like this. I think it's allergies. I went for a four block walk yesterday. And I think the pollen got to me. <laughs> Okay, so finding the right community um, for support to share your journey, to hear other people's journeys, uh, to share tips and tricks with other people who are on the same journey as you, all in remembering that everybody's different. Everybody's journey is different. Everybody's starting weight is different. Everybody's goal is different. So it's keeping in focus, supporting others on their journey. If you're a supporter, supporting others on their journey. Or uh, sharing your journey with other people who are on the same journey. And it's just all remembering um, that everybody's journey is different, but you're still on that same journey journey you're on that same medic same type of medication <clears throat> whether it be manjaro whether it be wegovi ozempic zepbound manjaro and zepbound same medication wegovi ozempic same medication uh just different fda approvals uh whether it be for diabetics or be for weight loss I'm on Manjaro, which is for diabetics. I am a diabetic. I'm a type 2 diabetic. But I am primarily on it to help with the weight loss. I pretty much have my blood sugars under control with my diet. I Years ago, I eliminated artificial, not artificial, but processed sugar 
and added sugar. Anything on the label that says there's added sugar, I try to avoid it. So if a label on a box, on a can, on a jar says added sugar, not for me. Not for me. Um, but you know your own journey. You know your own goals. Your doctor, your personal doctor, knows your medical history. So it's really up to them to say if these um, medications are right for you. So don't really, you know, if you are on this journey, um, consider the source where information is coming from. What do they know about you? What do they know about how your body responds to food? How your body responds to medication? Your doctor knows. You know. So it's up to you to make the choice with your doctor if these type of medications are right for you. So definitely when choosing a community or someone, you know, a expert or whether it's just them sharing their, someone sharing their experience like I am. Not giving any kind of medical advice. I'm not saying, oh man, you got to take this medication. It's great. No. I'm not going to tell you that because I'm not a doctor. I don't know you. I don't know your situation. I don't know what's right for you. I don't know what's wrong for you. So definitely, you know, don't let, you know, some fear mongering creator on Facebook or TikTok or YouTube, whatever. Don't let somebody who doesn't know you tell you how to eat, tell you how to um, take care of yourself. You know, they don't know you. That's all it is. They don't know you. They don't know your specific situation. And again, like I said, everybody's journey is different. And comparison is a thief of joy. So comparing yourself to another person's journey is not good either. It's not good either. Not at all. Not at all. And um, as far as finding the right community, I found the right community for me. And that is the Countess of Shopping on YouTube and her group on Facebook. That's the only community that I participate in. As far as support, as far as tips and tricks, as far as um, helping others. I'm a helper by nature. So, you know, if I have an answer for them that I feel will help them, you know, I offer, I offer that information. Um, but that's... That's pretty much what I have to say today. Um, like I said, I did walk f f four blocks. I was playing Pokemon Go with my with my nine-year-old niece. We were walking. We walked in the park, which was a Poke stop, and then walked back home. It was about four blocks. So, yeah. <laughs> four blocks in a circle. <laughs> All the way around. There and back. So... Four blocks there and back. So I guess that would be technically eight blocks, wouldn't it? I don't know. And I have been still doing my fitness hoop. I love my fitness hoop. Um, I still have a little difficult keeping it going. But when I do, I get excited and I just keep going. I just keep it going. I just keep it going. <laughs> and I've been doing bed exercise. Um, it's uh, on YouTube. There's some bed exercises that you can do in bed to help with your... Oh my gosh, and it makes my legs so sore. Because <laughs> you got to hold in your, mostly, most of it's leg lifts and working your arms. So, it's definitely 
a workout. I can feel it in my leg. <laughs> my thighs are so tired. I also have two total knee replacements. <laughs> All right. So I've let this go on a little too long. <laughs> so um, my quote to close out um, my journal today is be yourself. Everyone else is taken. So there you go. I hope you have a good next week. And I will do this again next Sunday. Have a wonderful day. Stay fabulous. Bye.